is Michael Young. My symptoms is from multiple sclerosis, we mutton. There's a couple of different versions of MS. That one is like it says, you know, each month you just don't know where it's at on you. For me at the moment, it seems to be my leg, you know, keeps, you know, falling out with me, you know, trying to walk and stuff. And the thing about that is sort of when I'm walking down the street or because we live in Derry, if you're walking through the town in Derry, it's like, what oh, that boy is drunk. And you hear that a lot, and you're like, you okay there, buddy? It's like, aye, I'm grand, but about a million times you have to say, oh, I have MS. I was diagnosed in 2010, and now at the moment, you know, I've read a lot about it, and I've gone to see a lot of people about it. And it's been seven years, and again, throughout the family then, like my partner and my daughter and stuff, it's still, it's hard to, you know, you don't know what, you, what way you're going to act each morning. Some mornings are good, some mornings bad, but if you plan something, that's the worst thing. Like this, <laughs> this is bad. But it, the stress of things, you know, brings it on. And it's just trying to make sure you know what you're doing. I uh, worked in the like, music industry for about 20 years. I say music industry, but it's music shops. Just. I worked in Virgin, I worked in HMV, I worked in MAD the retail place. Um, it was hard leaving them again because I'm only 36 and you're just trying to find your feet now because you're not working them places. I couldn't work in them because you're going up and down the stairs all the time. I couldn't do that. And then it's just the heat and the stress of the place. The fatigue was on me a lot so you're just constantly tired. Your independence it's cut off a wee bit. And now at the moment, I have the crutch with me, the majority of the time. Because sometimes I'm around the town in Derry. And as you might know, it's holes everywhere in Derry, so everywhere you go, I have to have the crutch with me. Sometimes I don't have the crutch with me. Um, you know, I'm just tired, and so I'm leaning up against you know, a shop window or something. Not even looking, at what's on the window, I just need to lean somewhere. and look like I'm looking on the window, just to get past that. But my partner, she'll drive me anywhere, you know, I need to go. But again, you know, she works, she's the only one who works in the house tomorrow. So I only, I'd only put her off work and to look after me. I think I can look after myself that way. But again, it's for my daughter. Again, she's only 12, but she will, she comes on her own, you know, to do stuff and ask you, do you need a cup of tea? Do you need this, that, and the other? It's nice for doing that, but then you're the adult, you're her father, so you're just trying to make sure you're doing everything you can do without relying on her. Well, this year, because I'm not as work, not at work as much, I've been to um, Poland, I've been to America as well. Again, America was good because there's like a holiday projects family that my partner was involved with like 20 years ago. And she asked her back and they bring her family over and all. So we went over. And it was great. We you know, all around there. So we went to um we go up for the Philadelphia. We got to see the Rocky statue, that was the main thing. Got to see that there. But again, the family we were staying with, the the mother, she's like seventy, and we were going to see the Rocky, there's the steps, you know, nearby. You have to most people, you see them running up it. There was no chance I could, and I wasn't going to crutch up it either. So I sort of went to the side, I sort of crawled up it. But there's a lady at 70, you know, it's beating you, and there is. It's like, hey, set you down. I'll, I'll edit that, you know, on the video, <laughs> so I'm the one. What keeps you happy in life? My partner and my child, again, it's wee things that we do together um, and my friends and my family you just keep you, your head down the ground and you just make sure you're okay which is good now, Is there any advice you could give anybody uh, with MS? Well with MS I would tell them to 
any questions they have, talk to the neurologist or their MS nurse. And don't think any question you have is you know, annoying to them or anything like that there. You've heard a million questions, so that means they have a million answers. So make sure you discuss it with them and maybe get a second opinion of people too with MS. But the MS is different for everybody.